It's Melissa and welcome back to Four Quarter Crafts. Today I have five different dollar store DIYs to share with you guys. These are all based around this planter that you can find at the Dollar Tree. It's a metal hanging planter and I came up with five different home decor DIYs and it was such a challenge but it was so much fun and I really loved how all of these turned out. So let's go ahead and get started because I have a ton to show you. So this first DIY is an industrial farmhouse style hanging lamp and you're gonna need a metal wreath form, a can of black spray paint, a portable light, a package of AAA batteries for your light, a hummingbird feeder. You're also gonna need a black wired waste bin and of course your black metal hanging planter. So we're gonna start with our hummingbird feeder. You're gonna take it apart, it comes apart in four sections. And for this project, we're gonna be using the plastic bottle portion and then that portion with the flowers. Just remove your flowers and then use your black spray paint to paint the red part black. Now we're going to take our portable light and it has two sections on the bottom. We're not going to use that first section with the sticky. We're just going to remove the cover, place our batteries inside and put the cover back on and go ahead and test your light just to make sure it works. And now we're going to cut the top off of the bottle and make your hole a little bit deeper and smooth out your edges. And then take your light and put two dots of hot glue on each side and place it upside down, pressing gently until it dries. Now you're going to take your black wired waste bin and we're pretty much going to use every part of this wired waste bin for this project. So I'm just going to take the bottom first and cut off that circle. I'm going to cut my circle in half and then to get rid of your sharp edges you're going to fold it up over onto each other and give it a nice little bend. This is going to be the cover that hides where the light meets the plastic part of the bottle. So I'm just putting some hot glue on each side and holding it till it dries and then take your next piece and continue right where you left off and wrap it around and put some more glue to secure. Just make sure your little hanging light is not in the way. And then I actually decided that I wanted to add a little bit more black and to secure the wire a little bit more so I found this black mechanical tape that I had on hand and I wrapped that around um, kind of two layers. I did one layer on the bottom and then another layer on the top that just hides more of the white. And so go ahead and measure out how much tape you need and cut it still making sure to leave the string on its own. So now we're going to cut off the top part of our waste bin and you can see there's always one section that's kind of doubled and I'm going to cut that section off to remove it. I'm going to save that for later, but I wanted all of this to be just one layer together. So I'm going to flatten it out with my hands. Um, it does kind of stay in that little curve. So just flatten it out and then turn it over and flatten it again. And now you're going to fold it in half and press down firmly to make a crease. Then you're gonna take your scissors and just cut along your crease. Then those two pieces, you are gonna fold those two pieces over and you're gonna cut along that line as well. So now you have four pieces and you guys guessed it, you're gonna fold it in half one more time, cut those pieces so now you will have eight pieces and I bet you can guess what I'm gonna do next. <laughs> One more time, go ahead and fold those pieces over and make your line and then cut those as well. So you're gonna end up with 16 of these little strips. And just be careful when you're cutting the little pieces, you don't wanna um, scratch yourself, they do get a little bit sharp. Now I'm just removing the sharp edges from each of my strips. And you don't need to worry about the pattern being exactly the same. It actually adds a little bit more charm, I think, to have it mixed up a little bit. So here's all my pieces. And now you're going to take your wire wreath form, and there's six sections marked off on your wreath form. So I'm going to put one of these strips onto each section. So I'm placing it over the center part of my wreath form, and then just kind of bending down the sides to hold it in place. You're going to cut off the extra edge, and just tuck it under with your finger there. Once again, just be careful not to poke yourself. <laughs> and yeah so you're just going to do that tuck the edges under and then you're going to do that for each section and then you have the wreath form part done and now you're going to take your basket and you're going to remove the chain and now we're going to start at the middle top of the basket you're going to give your um, little strips there a little bit of a bend so it goes with the curve of the basket and you're going to start at the top and you're going to fold that down and under 
and just tuck in the remaining wire. And so here's what it looks like. <clears throat> There's nine sections for each um, part of this basket. So I did nine sections all the way around. And then you slide your wreath form over the top and it actually slides and fits pretty snugly. But we're gonna cut the rest of the strips down so that we're using this to connect the basket to the wreath form. So just make sure you keep your curve before you tuck it down. And you're just going to go ahead and fold up the little bottom parts there and then it stays connected and that's what it's going to look like and now we're going to do the top portion so this is the part that was red in the beginning i spray painted black and i'm going to take my chain and starting with the largest part of the clip there i'm going to tuck that underneath the bottom and have that come up to the top so we're going to have our hanging chain through each of those three holes and then that little piece that I told you about that was a little bit thicker that I cut in the beginning, I just did a 3-2-3 pattern and added that to the bottom. You're going to place your light down and slide your um, little basket there over the top, put some hot glue. And then you're going to take your black part and put some hot glue on each side of those little dots and place it right on top. And just make sure your lamp string is through the center hole there. And then turn it over and put some more hot glue to secure. So this is such a cute idea if you guys are into the whole farmhouse decor. It's a really big trend right now, and I think this is just really, really cute. It is um, pretty easy to make. It does take a little bit of time, and if you don't like the white string, you could even take a black Sharpie and just color the string black. I actually didn't mind, um, so I left it white, but here's what it looks like when it's hanging. And then here is a shot of it at night. And when you have your string coming out of the center circle there on the top, it lets you still be able to turn the light on and off. So that's a very important step on this project is to make sure your little light string um, still comes through the center top there. And here's what it looks like from underneath. And I'm glad I added that little extra layer there on the bottom of the bottle there, because if you're looking up at it, um, it doesn't look like you're looking at a bottle. <laughs> it kind of adds more to the um, decor of it. So, yeah, I love how this turned out. This is very, very farmhouse and industrial inspired <laughs> DIY. And uh, this next project, we're going to make a hanging lantern chandelier. For this, you're going to need um, some bronze lanterns, some gold lanterns, uh, three silver lanterns, some twine, your hanging metal basket, two bouquets of these palm frond leaves, and a bouquet of fern leaves. And you're going to start with your metal basket, remove all three of the chains, and with all of your alternating colors of your lanterns, remove the keychains that are on the top. And now we're going to take our twine, and I'm just going to um, kind of double, double it up together and slide that through the hole at the top of my lantern and do a double knot double knot and tie it really nice and tight and then these three parts where your uh, chains were hanging that's where I'm going to start placing my lanterns first so I'm going to put those um, on each of those little three hole sections and do another double knot and you can see it just hangs very nicely and now I'm using six lanterns so you can see I'm not using one in each uh, section. The other three lanterns that I am adding, I'm actually going to place those in the center portion of the section, if that makes sense. <laughs> so here's what it looks like. And now I am just going to make my bows. So I actually um, doubled up, I believe, four different strands of this twine. And I'm just making my bows. You can always double your twine as thick as you want. Um, it just gives it a fuller effect. So here are my six bows. And now I'm just going to take a little dot of hot glue and place that on the top of my lantern where I had tied it to the basket. You can always make your initial twine longer into your bows that way. This is just my preference. And then you're going to take your um, palm frond bouquet and you get five in a pack. So, a pack. <laughs> you get five on a stem and I needed six. So I'm starting at the top. I'm going to fold over the wire portion, put some hot glue, and then lay those all around the lantern. Then I'm going to take my fern leaves, I'm going to cut those off, and you can see on my lanterns they have holes on the bottom, and I'm just going to stick these fern leaves all the way around on this extra silver lantern that I have, and this is going to be the top of my lantern chandelier. 
So once that was done, I just took my extra fern leaves and I put two on each side of my um, palm fronds there just to add a little bit more greenery to make it look a little more full. Then you're going to take just one of your chains and connect that to the top of your lantern. Put some hot glue on the bottom of your lantern and place that right on top. And then you can see I have it turned over here. It still gives you access to turn your little light on. So here's what it looks like when it is hanging. I think this is so adorable. I love how the colors are alternating. You can see it goes bronze, silver, gold, bronze, silver, gold, and then the top one is a silver. And this is just really adorable for, um, you know, any kind of decor. I especially think this is so gorgeous at night when all of these are lit up. And I'm gonna show you here in just a second if you have maybe just a couple lights on and you have the little lanterns turned on, like you can still see the little light flicker, the little glowing light. So here's what that looks like. And then I'm also going to show you a quick clip here of what it looks like in the dark with all of the other lights off. Very, very beautiful. And you know what's so funny, you guys? This actually reminds me of the Pirates of the Caribbean at Disneyland. <laughs> I don't know why. Maybe it's because we just took our kids to Disneyland recently. But that's what this reminds me of. If you guys have been on that ride, you know what I'm talking about, where it has, like, the little mos mosquito lights kind of hanging around. Um, yeah, just very, very cute with the little fireflies. So that's what this reminds me of. And I just love this project. I think it turned out really, really cute. This next project is a globe inspired lamp and here's what you're going to need. You're going to need a bag of rocks, some wall decals, a package of clothespins, some black spray paint, some gold metallic paint, a paintbrush as well as a black sharpie, a hummingbird feeder, an inflatable globe, some AAA batteries to go into your portable light. You're also going to need a bag of green floral moss, a large plastic serving bowl, and of course your <laughs> black metal hanging basket. So we're going to start with this inflatable globe that I got at the Dollar Tree, and I'm just cutting off the bottom. I'm going to push it open a little bit, and then I'm going to cut uh, further up into my globe and stick my hands in there and just kind of fluff it out. And now I'm going to take my clear serving bowl, this is also from the Dollar Tree, and I'm going to place it inside of my globe. And then using my clothespins, I'm just going to wrap that around to keep it in place. And now working from the inside of the bowl, you're going to take a black Sharpie and you are going to trace the globe, or sorry, trace the map. And this does not have to be perfect at all. What we're doing is just getting the general idea of a map on your bowl. So go ahead and do that, and then once you are done, remove your clothespins, and then you can take your bowl out of your globe. And it actually sticks pretty well. The plastic sticks pretty well, so I don't even know if you really needed the clothespins, but it works. So now I'm going to take my gold metallic paint. I purchased this paint at Walmart, I believe. I think it was like 97 cents. And I am doing just a kind of dabbing effect of painting. I You don't want to brush on the paint because you will see the streak marks through the plastic part of the bowl. So I'm just taking my time to dab the gold into my um, pattern there that I drew. And when you get to, you know, the thicker spaces, you can do a little bit more thicker um, paint there. But, uh, yeah, just take your time, stay in your lines, and then you're done with the part of the bowl. And now I'm going to take this wall decal. I thought this was really appropriate for this project. It says, Life is a Journey, and um, this decal is also from the Dollar Tree. So I'm just going ahead and putting that in position on my bowl where I think it would be nice um, all the way around. And then this also had little feather decals in gold, so I put those along some of the wording as well. And then that part is finished. I think this is so cute. And now we're going to take our hummingbird feeder again, and we're going to take that apart into the four pieces. And for this project, we're going to be using the plastic bottle portion. And the top portion, we're going to remove that hook. And then the um, bottom portion without the flowers. Those two red parts are going to be what you spray paint black. 
And now we're going to fill up our bottle part there with your bag of rocks and screw on the part of the bottom there that you had spray painted black. And uh, once you're done with that, you're going to take your green moss and put some hot glue and fill in the bottom. And now we're going to take our portable light and use our AAA batteries once again to uh, make the light work. And there you go. You can see it's working. And just put the cover back on. And I'm taking that little stick -em piece off and I'm going to use that on the edge there and just kind of place it right on top of your bottle and my little light kind of moved back and forth, so I just put some glue to keep it in place. And then you're gonna wrap your string around the light bulb to keep it out of the way for your moss, and just put some hot glue all around the edges where your bottle meets the light. That's gonna cover the seam. And then you're also going to fill in the other white parts of your light. And here I'm just starting with where the string is. I'm hot gluing all the way around the string while I hold it. And that way I'm just making sure that my string um, still works <laughs> by the time I'm done with all this green moss. <laughs> so I'm just going to fill in all of the white pieces. This can get a little bit messy, but um, just take your time. And then once you're done with that, you want to give it some, some more of a definite shape. Just squeeze all the way around and just give it your light a little test again. Make sure it works. And now we're going to take our lid, the top part that we spray painted black, and I just put some hot glue around the edges and right on the top there and filled those in with some moss. And then you can um, trim your moss to keep it a nice clean look. And then with the um, rest of my moss, I'm just going to put it along the edge of my lamp there. This is going to be the top of my lamp. And just cleaning up the edges, add a little bit of greenery to the bowl here. And then you're going to attach the top right in the center. And now I'm going to take my hanging black metal basket once again. I'm going to remove the chains. And I'm just going to be using the um, basket portion here, putting some hot glue and sliding it over my light. And then voila, all you do is put your little bowl right on top. It rests very nicely and perfectly. And you have your one-of-a-kind globe-inspired lamp. And uh, in case I didn't tell you, I think I forgot to tell you, the rocks um, that you put in the bottom portion there actually keep uh, it very steady. It has a nice weight to it, so it works as a really great base for this lamp. And I think this is just adorable. It was a lot of fun to make. And um, yeah, here's just a look of close up. And I love all of the earth tones of this project. I love how all of the colors mix in together. Very, very cute. And here's what it looks like with the light on. You can see it casts a really beautiful shadow through the bowl, and it just really makes the gold really sparkle. And uh, you have your really, really cute light. So let's move on to the supplies of the next project with our basket. You're going to need three rolls of burlap, two rolls of this um, kind of lace ribbon, two rolls of brown ribbon, two rolls of gold ribbon, white ribbon, and two rolls of green ribbon. And of course, your basket. And then I used four of these florals. They uh, have two sections each when you cut them apart. So that's eight sections of floral. <clears throat> And then you're going to take your ribbon, and right at, what I'm doing here is I'm just uh, unraveling the entire ribbon off of the roll, and I'm measuring out how long I want my uh, pieces of ribbon to be. And I wanted them to be even, so I just um, kind of lined them up with each other and cut the edges there. And then um, for this project, your ribbon overlaps. You're going to tie it onto your uh Bas your basket there so this is where I'm cutting everything and then um, the white ribbon and the green ribbon the green ribbon is actually a little bit sheer which is really pretty um, that was a little bit longer than the other ribbon so I actually had um, more pieces for that ribbon and then I'm just going to take some white and measure out the same length of my burlap and here's the burlap and now we're going to just start very easily doing um, I think they're called slip knots um, onto the basket with your ribbon. So I just created a pattern. I wanted my colors to alternate. Like I said, my white and my green were double the length of the brown, gold, and lace ribbon. So I wanted to use um, the white and the green the most. 
gosh, that was a hard to say. <laughs> so I'm creating my pattern here. I'm putting my white and my green on each side of the burlap. And you guys can see how I'm doing the knots. Very easy. All you do is um, kind of keep the pieces together and slide it underneath the basket and then pull the remainder through and pull it tight. So here's my pattern that I created. And you're just going to do that um, all the way around. I have uh, eight different sections with my burlap. So here's what it looks like. And I'm showing you here, that is where I'm going to be hanging my floral from. So now your floral, just uh, it's a wire floral uh, bottom edge there. So now just take the, each one in between each section of your ribbons and just kind of bend it around. And then you have your floral hanging down. So this is so beautiful. It's a very easy project. You can do so many different styles with this. I mean, you can change up the colors. You can change up the floral. It would be so beautiful for any kind of bridal or baby shower. Just really great project. And now this last one, these are the supplies that I used. I used a white ceramic vase some green floral moss, two packages of green floral wire. I used eight stems of cherry blossoms, or maybe that was six, six cherry blossoms, some two stems of green fern, some long floral stems, and then I also used some hydrangeas and lilacs. And this one, I used four of these black metal baskets. So what you're gonna do here is uh, remove all of your chains. You're not gonna use any of the chains for this project. And I'm going to take my green floral wire. I've never used this before, you guys, and I am a huge fan after this project. It is so easy to work with. I could not believe it. I love this floral wire. And I know that the Dollar Tree sells it in all different colors, so this was just awesome. But anyways, so what I'm doing here is I am just going to combine my two baskets and wrap the floral wire all the way around. You can see the lines of my basket are not um, exactly meeting up. I kind of wanted them to um, be a little bit spaced apart. So that way it holds my flower stems better. But here's what it's gonna look like. And then you're gonna finish uh, your two different sections. So here I have my uh, one, one of my kind of round balls on top. And then I just took my extra floral wire and wrapped it around to connect the two pieces. And now I'm just taking my white ceramic base, putting some hot glue and moss onto the top. And you can see here, I just connected my little baskets with the hot glue and put some more um, of that green moss on top. And this is how I added my floral. Now I didn't do a step-by-step -step with the floral because it's kind of your own preference. Um, I just kind of played around with it a little bit, but I really wanted this piece to be kind of like a large show piece. So all of my white flowers mixed in worked out so beautiful and the holes in the center of the basket worked great for my long stem florals. I just stuck those right in the middle and then I went ahead and filled in uh, my other uh, white flowers all throughout. So I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. If you liked it and want to see more of this style of DIY home decor videos, give this video a thumbs up. If you are new to the channel, I would love for you to subscribe and join the Four Quarter Crafts family. And if you guys uh, tap the little notification bell, it will let you know when I am uploading a video. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Thank you.